Dr. Nadir Ali. Studies show higher cholesterol does not lead to high mortality and heart disease. It would shock a cardiologist who would come to my patient visit because he would not have any idea as to what we are discussing in terms of insulin resistance, insulin glucagon ratios, uh, inflammation markers, the Kraft uh, insulin response. Insulin glucagon ratio. The ratio between two hormones, insulin, which directs fat storage, and glucagon, which promotes breakdown of fuel from the liver. The Kraft insulin response. This is a standard test developed by Dr. Joseph Kraft to measure blood glucose response to a standardized amount of glucose over a five-hour period and includes measuring insulin levels. This allows an extremely early signal of type 2 diabetes. He would have no idea what I'm talking about, whereas my patients will. So this is the kind of change we are seeing in the consumers because people like you, many podcasts that come out, many YouTube videos that come out, the gap between a consumer who knows details about science and about his own condition and what the physician knows is narrowing. And, and that's what's going to improve people's health. And I frankly think that as far as chronic diseases is concerned, chronic diseases meaning management of high blood pressure, diabetes, lipids, the doctors, the mainstream medical profession is really going to get buggy whipped if they don't listen to the consumer. So LDL is considered to be the bad cholesterol. And total cholesterol and LDL track each other very well. Like in other words, if you have a high LDL, you will have a high total cholesterol. The first basic thing we want to give people is that there is a lot of discrepancy between what mainstream medicine believes and what demographic data tells us. So let's take a population of 50,000 patients studied in Netherlands. This is the HUNT trial. 50,000 people over 50 years of age. And they were looking at their cholesterol, their total cholesterol, or you could call it the LDL cholesterol. Higher the LDL cholesterol, lower the mortality. Higher the LDL cholesterol, lower the cardiovascular mortality. So when you look at large populations of patients who are older and older people are more at risk of heart disease, this does not jive well with the mainstream medical concept. If you look at works done by Ravnuskov and Malcolm Kendrick, they took 60,000 patients from different trials, looked at LDL and turned them into tertiles, the bottom 20%, the second 20%, the third 20%, and then the top 20%. And if I tell you that the top 20% had the lowest cardiovascular risk and the lowest mortality, then it would make you doubt your hypothesis. Is LDL really the bad cholesterol? Why are these people doing so well? If you take a look at the Monica Project, now this is information from World Health Organization, 2008. You look at countries like Sweden, like France, like Italy, they have a higher fat intake, they have a higher total cholesterol. You take a look at Russian Republic countries, the Eastern European countries. They have a lower fat intake and lower cholesterol. So you should expect that people with low cholesterol and lower fat intake should have lower total mortality, lower stroke rate, lower cardiovascular mortality. But it was the exact opposite. People with the highest cholesterol in Sweden, in France, and Italy had lower mortality and lower stroke rate made absolutely no sense. Let's go further. Let's go to World War II Japan. World War II Japan had cholesterol levels that were very low. Yet the incidence of stroke was tenfold higher compared to that of the United States. As Japan became affluent and they started eating animal products, the cholesterol went up. 
what happened to, what happened to the stroke rate did it go up no it came down so you should say why are there so many black swans why do they not agree with the hypothesis that high cholesterol would cause high strokes and high heart disease and high mortality summary a cardiologist would have no idea about what Dr. Ali and his patients talk about. Insulin resistance, insulin glucagon ratio, inflammation markers, the Kraft insulin response. Insulin glucagon ratio, the ratio between two hormones, insulin, which directs fat storage, and glucagon, which promotes breakdown of fuel from the liver. The Kraft insulin response. This is a standard test developed by Dr. Joseph Kraft to measure blood glucose response to a standardized amount of glucose over a five hour period and includes measuring insulin levels. This allows an extremely early signal of type 2 diabetes. The gap between what the patient knows about science and his own condition and what his doctor knows is narrowing. This knowledge, especially about chronic diseases like high blood pressure, diabetes, lipids, the mainstream medicine is simply going to get buggy whipped. LDL, traditionally called the bad cholesterol, tracks closely with total cholesterol. There is a lot of discrepancy between what mainstream medicine says and what the data actually show. In the Netherlands study, 50,000 patients over 50 years of age, the higher the LDL, the lower the total mortality, and the lower the cardiovascular mortality. It simply does not jive with mainstream medicine. In another study, 60,000 patients were divided into quintiles of LDL levels. The top 20% had the lowest cardiovascular risk and mortality. In the Monica study, monitored by the World Health Organization in 2008, countries like Sweden, France, Italy had higher fat intake and cholesterol, while Eastern Europe had lower fat intake and cholesterol. The higher fat and cholesterol countries had lower mortality and stroke rates. A World War II study in Japan. When they had very low cholesterol, their stroke levels were 10 times that of the USA. Later, as Japan ate more animal foods and their cholesterol went up, their stroke levels came down. Dr. Ali asks, So, why so many black swans? Why do studies not agree with the hypothesis that high cholesterol will cause high strokes, heart disease, and mortality? 